Hi, welcome to Fitly Vintage. I know when searching for 1940s hairstyles or pin-up hairstyles in general, it's easy to get overwhelmed. There are many wonderful, amazing, talented hairstylists out there showing their creations and it can all seem a little bit unachievable. In this video, you're going to learn exactly step-by-step step how to create this casual, elegant, wearable 1940s pin-up hairstyle. If this kind of video is your thing, then give it a like and share it with other like-minded people. Don't forget to subscribe for regular updates and click that notification bell because I wouldn't want you to miss a thing. I know how frustrating it can be to see a style but then not be able to achieve it. Um, and believe me, that's not just a beginner's thing. Even after over a decade of styling my hair like this, I still find some styles really, really hard to do. And it is just a case of perseverance and practice. But this hairstyle, I promise you're going to be able to do it even if you are an absolute beginner. So my hair was washed last night and I just put it up in a bun to leave it to dry and this is what I'm left with this morning. So there's no need for you to have perfect hair before you start this style. You know your own hair, you can have um, day old hair, two day old hair, whatever's best for you. I'm using to curl my hair today Top Styler by InStyler. It's ceramic heated clams that allow me to do a heated pin curl set. Now this is not a paid ad, this is just genuinely what I use. Um, you can curl your hair however you like, pillow rollers, um, hot tongs, wet set overnight, it doesn't matter. As long as your hair is curled, this style will work. Um, there isn't a particular setting pattern for this style at all. I wanted to show you that however you roll your hair, as long as you curl it up, you can achieve this look. Quite a lot of 40s, 1940s styles will have a setting pattern and that's great fun um, ultimately to try and follow those and get those exactly right. And they do make the hairstyle a little bit easier to achieve, but not in this case. As long as your hair is curled, you can achieve this style. So I'm just pin curling my hair and I'm gonna to continue to do that all over my head and clipping on the ceramic um, clamps. I'm going to show you how I pin curl my hair up. I walk my fingers up my hair shaft towards my hairline and then pinch and continue to roll until I get to my head. I will insert a, a foolproof way to pin curl your hair and that's a video that I did a couple of years ago. I'll put that in for you to have a look at it and I'll put the link in the description as well. But anyway I'll just finish off my hair with these clips and then leave them to cool. Okay, so hopefully now these have all cooled and I'm just going to start removing them from the bottom. If you have done a heated set too, you're going to need to make sure they're completely cooled before you take out your curls. Also, if you've done an overnight set, they need to be completely dry. So you'll notice I'm doing actually voice to camera at the moment because um, I film right in front of the road. My house is on um, a busy road. It's a B road, but it's really, really busy. Um, it's kind of a cut through from a town to a motorway, so it's super busy, but because of the lockdown at the moment, there's really, oh, there's a car going past, uh, limited, uh, there's limited traffic, so it's really good and I'm able to talk on camera. Usually the cars are just whamming past. Um, if you look at my video that I did recently on fringes, it was uh, raining outside and not only did I have the noise of the cars, but the rain and everything, oh, it was a nightmare, but now it's relatively quiet so you should be able to hear me even though the microphone on this camera is not brilliant considering the actual camera it's a Nikon you'd think the camera would, uh, the microphone would be pretty pretty snazz but it's not that brilliant it's all right it's not that brilliant right okay are they out you really don't want to leave any of these in your hair that is a big fail All you people, go home. Stay at home, stay safe. There's literally a pile of cars now. I said there was no cars now, there's literally so many cars. Okay, so they've taken pretty well. Um, and you'll see now why I love to do these heated sets as opposed to wet sets before work or in the morning when I haven't really got that much time. The brush out time is just that much quicker. So I'm going to start by parting um, my hair. Actually I'm going to start by moving the camera because you're not up high enough. Okay that's better. Right I'm going to start by parting my hair where I want it to be parted. Now I've got at the moment I'm growing out my fringe and it's a little bit frustrating because as much as I love a fringe it's sometimes a little bit hard to incorporate into these styles but this one is absolutely perfect if you have a fringe if you don't you can still do exactly the same style but if you have a fringe never fear 
Right, so I'm going to part uh, on my left side. Quite a deep side parting to one side of my forehead. Ooh, I'm splitting a curl. Okay. You want to get a nice sharp line if you can. I'm using a metal ended tail comb. Okay, that's nice. So this is almost like a mock page boy. Actually, I'm, I'm going to film another video, a page boy cheat quite soon. I'm really excited for that um, because I know a page boy is an iconic 1940s hairstyle, but it's quite hard to achieve. And there's tons of back combing, but I know a way where we don't have to do that. So I'm going to film that this week too and hopefully get it up for you as soon as possible. But today, uh, this is like a, 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 a kind of a mock page boy. Not quite, but anyway, all curls are turned under. So as you're brushing, you're going to be concentrating on folding the curls under to create a nice little sausage of uh, hair. So I'm just brushing out the ends of my hair first because even though they've been on a heat set they can sometimes get a little bit tangled especially if you're doing a wet set you'll probably find a little bit of um, resistance in the ends of your hair so go for the ends first and just curl them under. I've got my thumb through the end of that curl and I'm just brushing around my thumb um, brushing from the underneath and from over the top, just brushing down. Now, depending on how long you've left your set to cool, this is irrelevant if you've done a heat set, a uh, wet set, sorry, you will find more longevity in your curl, the longer and cooler, you know, they have to be really cold to be set correctly. That didn't make sense at all. With wet sets, you can brush and 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 the curls might never fall out. But with heat sets, if the curls haven't been left to cool completely, they will be a little bit weaker in structure and they will drop out as you're brushing them. So just be wary of that when you're brushing. So I'm just brushing around my thumb and just making sure that all curls are turning under. And I'm going to clip this left side behind my ear. Oh, I've not got my bobby pins. And I want a nice smooth piece of hair. I'm pulling it quite tight. It's great for the wrinkles. And then just sliding in a bobby pin behind my ear here. I might need another one. Right, let's go for this side. Just brushing through and under the entire time. Sometimes this is the point where you find a stray bit of hair that you haven't curled and that's so frustrating because the rest of your hair can look perfect when you've got one random bit just being straight and naughty. And don't worry here as well if you get a little bit of frizz as you're brushing out because as you continue to brush that will smooth down. Um, bear in mind you can also use setting lotion when you're curling your hair or uh, if you've got a, um, a mousse or a gel. Actually if you check up here um, I show you how to make a fantastic natural, all natural DIY flaxseed gel that keeps in the fridge for up to two weeks. It's absolutely brilliant. So check and there. Uh, I'll also put the link down in the description. So what you'll find with a lot of 1950s pinup um, hairstyles is that there's tons of height at the front which requires a lot of back combing and uh, hairspray and swooshing. It's not the case with this 1940s hairstyle. We're going to actually have quite a flat top and we're going to achieve that by pinning the front section back. So mine is my fringe and I actually need to hide it under longer bits of hair. So if you have a fringe too, you'll want to um, possibly spray this section of hair so that it doesn't ruin your style later. And just brush it back. These fine tooth combs are brilliant for this. If you don't have a fringe, you may still like to pin this section of your hair back because it allows just to keep your, your hair out of your face. So I'm going to pin my fringe back because I need to. And then I'm going to move the hair behind that fringe over it and begin to brush out the curls. The idea is to brush over your hand until you can see a nice wave forming um, in, that, in those lengths of hair. So 
always brush over your hand and brush around to keep those curls going under and don't worry too much about brushing the curl out because it's not likely going to happen if you allowed your curls to cool so just keep on keeping on with that brushing i love to use a denman brush for this now i can see that there's a wave forming there now this doesn't if this doesn't happen to your hair automatically don't worry keep brushing and it should start to form and if you don't get one don't don't worry about it but if you do you can harness that sucker with a uh, a sectioning clip don't poke yourself in the eye though so you can stick a sectioning clip just where you see that c the apex of that c shape from the wave like that see there i've stuck it there um and then spray the bejeezy out of it. I can see that there's another one going to there. Can you see that there? So that comes out and then goes back in again. So I'm gonna stick there, stick one there. Just wherever your head dips, stick in a sectioning clip and that will hold that wave in. one there for good measure as well now this does limit the amount you can brush through your hair but if you've done a heated set then it shouldn't be a problem um, because your hair should fall out quite quickly into the uh, curls Now, I often find the more I comb, well, actually it's a fine line, sometimes if my heat set hasn't cooled correctly, then I brush just all my curls out and have to scoop it up into a ponytail. And if that happens, don't be, um, don't be put off, just try again tomorrow, because it happens to me quite often. But today my curls have cooled nicely and I'm able to brush. And I usually find when this happens, the more I brush, the more the style takes shape and the more I like it. So you can see as I've continued to brush, this little curl here has formed, which is really cute. I like that. The whole style has become smoother, which is nice. So if you are fighting frizz, just keep going. Keep smoothing with your brush over your hand and you should find that the hairstyle just does what you want. Don't be ruled by your hair. If it does go all kind of bottoms up um, and it really isn't savable, then don't worry. Just scoop it up and try again tomorrow. So I'm going to roll that around. I'm just going to try and encourage that curl to stay there because that's pretty sweet. I don't like this here, so I'm gonna try and sort that out. Okay. Right, I'm gonna put a hair flower in for extra cuteness. Okay. Right, take these out. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you liked the video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. You know, if you have any other ideas for any other hairstyles, I've got a little bit more time to film at the moment. So just let me know what you'd like to see and I'll try to get that done for you. Thank you again so much for watching. Take care, bye. If you like this video and you love pin up hairstyles, then please check out these other videos on my channel. Ta-da!